And this is why I did not want Ukraine at the World Cup. I mean, for me, I I pray that this isn't true, but so many people are reporting it, it may be true. There's so many ways to cut this through, but let me just give you the basics and my thoughts about it. So, um, again, because this is not a political channel, so I don't want to go political, so I'm just going to just give you the, the broad strokes. So, apparently, allegedly, from what we're hearing, is Iran are apparently sending drones to Russia to help them with their war on Ukraine. And the chief of Shakhtar Donetsk, or the president of Shakhtar Donetsk, has said that Iran should be removed from the World Cup because of them supporting Russia. Let's stop there. Let's, let's stop there. Okay. Because it gets worse. So, Iran should be removed because they're supporting Russia. Okay. We can have a discussion about that. You have removed raw Russia because of what they're doing, and Iran are allegedly helping their war efforts. But Iran aren't really launching the war. But should these players really be punished by the actions and the decisions of a few people? So you can have a discussion there, and who knows where you lie there. Should they be, be punished? But if you do get to Russia, then you should pretty much do it to everyone who's supporting Russia. Boom. Now, where it gets crazy and where Homeboy loses me is he then says, Iran should be taken out and replaced by not another Asian country, Ukraine. Because <laughs> Ukraine played with their hearts and it's really, it is the right thing to do. <sighs> the World Cup is a competition. That's what it is. The World Cup is not the UN. The World Cup is not a political uh, arena. Hence where they say that Politics should be taken out of football. Hence why you are punished if a government is involved in a football team as Nigeria were back in 96 when Abacha was sort of involved in the Nigerian football team. So Nigeria were actually banned. So anytime there's any political involvement, you actually get banned by FIFA. Politics do not play any part in football. Do you know how dumb that sounds? What is happening in Ukraine? It's bad. But we know things that have happened all around the world. All around the world. And we know people who, again, we don't want to name it, but with the whole Palestine thing, whatever that's brought up, that's political and, and so forth. So, there is a double standard here. And I get it. It's because, see, 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 you have to understand that fair does not exist in the world. Fair is an idealistic view of the world. Because everybody's tribal and everybody will fight for their tribe. And everybody will make a point that their tribe, their issues, their problems are more important than anyone. The Jews of the Holocaust. This is no, our issue is worse than anyone's issues. Ukraine right now, our issues are worse than anyone's issues. And I'm sure black people say our issues are worse than anyone's issues. We are not together as a human race and we don't care about edge everyone's issues. They're, they're the same. We care about the issues of our own and our tribe. See, it's in football. We are tribal. So with Ukraine, they're like, no. Ours is the most important. We are suffering the, the, the most, and the whole world should acquiesce to us. So therefore, remove Iran and replace them with Ukraine, where if the only conversation that should be had is, should you, Iran be removed for the next Asian country, which I believe might be UAE, but not sure. So the only discussion we had is, are we now removing Iran for another Asian team who should not take their place? How the hell do you remove Iran and replace them with Ukraine? Because this was the danger I had. I still don't know how Ukraine did qualify because my danger was Ukraine will qualify for the World Cup. And if the referee is looking at a 50-50, it's going to give it to, to you, you, Ukraine. Because I thought Ukraine would qualify for the World Cup, these guys get to at least the semi. Disney Plus in full in, 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 in full effect. But for me, I just for me, it's it's it is a it's it's a it is a dumb idea to replace Iran with Ukraine. It is it's 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 stupid because this is a competition and you have to qualify for the competition. You failed. You lost fair and square to Wales, and Bill and his dragons are now going to be going to the World Cup deservedly because they deservedly beat you. Okay? This has nothing to do with oh man, we have to now care about the Ukraine war and everything. No, this is football. Okay, it's the same thing that's happening in movies now. Look at movies with, with freaking Star Wars where, okay, let's now, because we want everyone to care about LGBTQ, we're not going to put our LGBTQ thoughts and thoughts about women's rights in freaking Star Wars. It's freaking Star Wars, man. It's a movie. This is football. It's guys kicking a ball around. But again, guys, you want to think fifth dimensionally. It's about a platform. Star Wars is popular. Let's get our views in there so it can reach a, a, a wider view. The World Cup this is the biggest sporting event on the planet. 
Let's just get, get a stop at that Russia world view. Because if Ukraine are in there, there's going to be a massive statement, a massive huge statement, and all this stuff happens. So, with regards to Iran, bro, talk to me in the comments. Where do you stand? Because for me, it's, it is complicated. Because it's like, you can look at this at the both sides because you have removed Russia for them being involved in the Ukraine war. So if Iran are now sort of sending them drones and so forth, should you be consistent and do the same with Iran? But are we now going towards a slippery slope? Well, I heard South Korea. Well, I heard um, Japan. Oh, well, I, I heard um, um, Serbia. Well, Switzerland, maybe. So you could almost use like any small kind of involvement that a country may have had and say, well, this... So if you're doing this to us, what about this country who did this? What about this country who did this? What? So you, so, so because if you do this to one other country, Iran will not say, well, they did this, 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 and that. So why should we be punished for this and they're not punished for that? So I see that what we're doing is worse than what these guys have done and so forth. So we're now doing oppression Olympics. So you see where the slippery slope lies. So let me hear what you guys think. You know, should Iran be removed from uh, because no no the Ukraine no that's not that's, that's not, not even a, a debate that's that's stupid. So should Iran now be removed from the World Cup because they're apparently sending drones to Russia? Talk to me. But replace Iran with Ukraine? Hell no! The heck! Get over there to subscribe, that good stuff, and we're counting down the days of the World Cup. Click the latest video here as we count down the days of the World Cup all the way right there. One love.